So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Poetic Realms, an art show where we highlight the world's finest art, places, and tastes. And today, my featured guest is paint mogul Fernando. Hey, mogul, huh? <laughs> yeah, I like, man. I like that term, man. You're doing some really big things in the downtown Santa Ana art community, mm -hmm. like hosting these uh, sip and paint events. Mm -hmm. So uh, give me a little bit about what's behind it and the inspiration and how much have you done and kind of get into it. Damn, dude. Honestly, it's, it's been a minute. Um, just had one. I mean, I got hands full of paint. Mm -hmm. uh, we just, just finished yeah. an event right now. I'll oh, think about it. Uh -huh. um, and somebody asked me that question earlier today. They were like, when was the first time? How long have you been doing this for? And I was like, damn. I started off at Mission Bar, right? Narrow little bar if you don't know what, what it looks bar. like. Mission Bar. Oh, wow. You know how narrow that is, yeah, right? Yeah, how'd you paint there? <laughs> Dude, it's like, the, the, I, I try to figure out the space. I was like, I can fit 15 people in the back by, by where the pool tables are. Mm -hmm. I can fit 15 people there for sure. So I would uh, I would sit 15, you know, stations or whatever. And it would always sell out. So I would always squeeze in 20, 25 in a 15 capacity spot. Um, and after that, it just took off from there. Started doing it at a copper door. Uh, started doing them um, um, Costa Mesa, uh, Seagerstrom Center. I've been doing them there too now. 100 people last week. Wow. And uh, you had one in Texas, right? I do them. I do them in Dallas too now. Dallas. Yep. Wow. Dallas, so Texas. it's it's beyond now. Just Orange County. It's beyond Orange County. I mean, I mean, I moved out there, so I was like, you know, might as well. There's a there's a need for it. People. Oh, like you it. moved to Texas. I moved to Texas. Yeah. Really? Yep. I I wasn't aware of that. You oh shit! <laughs> uh, Mar, the DJ, she was telling me too. She's like, "Dude, you moved to te you moved to Texas." I was yeah. like, yeah, "I've been I've been there for two years." Whoa! Yeah. So you just happen to be around town sometimes? No, I, I come here for this, or I'll do a, I'll get a mural uh, opportunity, so I'll, I'll come over here. And I mean, yeah, I moved two years ago, but I'm here like once a month, once every two months at least. Mm. You know, doing murals, doing uh, simple paint events. So I'm pretty lucky to have caught you then for my show. You know what? Uh, maybe, maybe I'm lucky. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm the lucky guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what can people expect when they go to one of your sip and paint events? Hmm. Um, sip and paint, right? So, people think it's going to be like, oh, I, I want to learn how to draw or, or paint or whatever. And, and I always say in the beginning of these, this is not, this is not school. This is not a class. We're here to have fun. We're here to party. Mm. So we're painting and partying. That's what I like to do. When I paint, I, I'm usually, I'm, I'm a night owl, right? So I'll, I'll be painting late night. Uh, and I love sipping a beer, drinking some wine, painting and listening to good music. But doing that, you're alone, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm an extrovert. I love, I love being around people. I love going out. So it, it, this is just a great opportunity to do what I love, to do mm. what I love with people around me, painting and partying. Yeah. Yeah. And, you have, to good music. and you have a lot of... Um Kind of local artists that come through, like yeah. Gu Gucci was here. Yep, yep. She was the DJ. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of uh, familiar. My, um, Ali Rock, you know, also yeah, she local, comes local along. Local artists, yep, yep. She DJ for me last at my last event in Costa Mesa. Mm -hmm. um, Daniel James, you know Daniel. Right, James, right. right. He yeah. actually DJed um, and hosted one of my latest uh, live open mics mm -hmm. at Fourth Street. Yeah, and uh, he's down. Yeah, yeah, he, he gets, gets down. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's called Soulful Open Mic, and yeah, he's a, he's a one man show by himself, dude. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah, he has a cool little beard. Yep, a little curly mustache and all. He's got moves. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of like we're mingling and doing something bigger than yeah. just art galleries and yeah, kind of showcasing your art. You're kind of getting the people involved, and like, you it's, know, it, it's personal. Like, it's wild. Yeah, just to, just to give you an example, like uh, five years ago, I, I had one here. Um, and this couple came from San Diego. Wow. Right. They came, they, people come from all over the place. This guy, a couple came from San Diego and, uh, dude, me and that guy became fucking friends. Mm. I met him at a sip of paint. He was painting with his girlfriend at the time. And now him and her, we became friends. They came here today mm. and brought us some cigars. <laughs> yeah. What? Wow. Yeah, so These shout are out, nice. Shout out to Chris from, from the Bronx. He's from New York originally. Man, know? these are fine cigars. Yeah, he said he infused it with uh, uh, Blue Label and chocolate. Blue Label? Yeah, Blue Label no. and chocolate. Yeah. So blue he, Label you, and you, chocolate. You smell it, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. 
I love Blue Label. I was smoking now, but I don't have a I don't have a cutter or, or, or a lighter, <laughs> so I'm just gonna. But I wanted to share that with you. Yeah, dude, appreciate uh, it, man. Thank you. We'll yeah. uh, oh, smoke dude, it later. Thank, you, thank you, Chris. Yeah, thank you, Chris, too. Yeah, appreciate it so much. Uh, you know, I I have some um, some private reserve Blue Labels in my room, mm -hmm. and I just sit them there because they have big, beautiful cases and bottles. Yeah, you seen the cases and bottles? No, no, I haven't. Yeah, Blue Label. Yeah, yeah. yeah Johnny Walker. Yeah. Um, this huge, like this big, and yeah. they're really, they're really cool uh, centerpieces. Right, right. And I have about four of them in my room. Oh wow, dude. Yeah, nice. but I, I rarely drink them because it's more like gin, whiskey kind of. You know what? I'm a fucking gin guy too. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, you know who? Uh, uh, Only Oscar, on rare occasions. Oscar. I don't know if you know Oscar. Satan. Yep. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> yep. He, He's like, the, I call him the, the snake of OC. He just. He, slithers he around got me to, to gin and tonics and i was like well, this, is, uh, this is not bad dude right yeah and, and our friend oscar he's a bassist yeah he's a musician yeah, he, he, yep. he does a lot of shows yeah, his brother he's what with his brother right yeah, yeah, yeah and it's called mantra i believe yeah i think so mantra yeah, yeah that's good yeah so yeah we're all kind of doing our own thing and we kind of mix up and brainstorm and then we kind of split apart yeah um but yeah you, you were saying that you were getting into uh painting late at night and kind of like getting into your, the zone of it uh give us a little bit about your personal art kind of journey and what's that about and then we can kind of wrap up the show yeah um personal th again this is all personal to me right um but art itself i've always uh i'm gonna get i'm gonna get a little i'm gonna get a little um deep with this because yeah go ahead the whole purpose of me doing art was kind of getting over my fear of death Oh shit! Yeah, getting over my fear of death. It's always been a you know, a, 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 you know, would have um, almost panic attacks, if you will, right? Like an existential kind of thing. I would just wake up in the middle of the night and be like, "Dude, this is fucking. This is real. I'm, I'm a real. I'm in a real life. I'm gonna fucking die one of these days." Mm. So, You're so young, though. I mean, this this happened when I was like 17. Like, <laughs> so, okay. um, doing art was like a way of extending my life. Mm. My art's gonna outlive me. So if I can do it, push as much art as I can, and give it, give a piece to you, give a piece to my friend, give a piece, piece to my family, they're gonna remember me by these art pieces that I make. That's gonna, that's gonna out. If I could run over by a car right now, across the street, that art's gonna outlive me. Mm. So that just gave me some peace of mind, and it's, it's that. That was the whole. And then after that, yeah, I started making a little bit of money because of art and all that. But I always got to root myself back to my, my main purpose. Wow, that's such a... Yeah. Has has that kind of changed? It always changes. Of yeah, we, of course. Yeah, it always changes. But um, I got to reroute myself to what, what uh, you know, my, my main purpose is. Mm. You know, we all have... Every business has um, their... Um, what's it called? Uh, like, what are, what are they about, right? That's that's what I'm about. Oh, okay. Yeah, just make it as much as art as I can for my friends and family. Okay, great to hear, man. Yeah. Well, hey, they kind of put the music back on, so the audio might be kind of off. That's but so thank you so much for coming. Brother. Appreciate it. I had a yeah. great time at Sip and Paint. Enjoy thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Thank you. Just <laughs>